Have a good look around. It's a beautiful country. I think it's the last undeveloped, unspoiled country. And the beauty of it's still there. Along this river, we lived a nomadic life. I think we were the last nomadic Aborigine that hunted for food around here. This ancient landscape has been shaped for millennia by one of the mighty tropical rivers of northern Australia. From the deep gorges and the sandstone escarpment to the wetlands of the vast coastal plain, the Calvert River has made this country a vital refuge for the wildlife of the region. I always think of what Dad told me years ago. He said, make sure you look after it. He said, leave all the tree as it is, leave everything natural as it can be. He said, and the people appreciate it. And I thought he was silly at the time telling me that. But when I see people come around and tell me what a great place it is, I laugh to myself because they're the same word what my father told me years ago. Located in a distant corner of northern Australia, this land is called Pungalina and Seven Emu. It covers 300,000 hectares of diverse ecosystems and 55 kilometres of pristine coastline. But the future for the region is uncertain. Here, its threatened wildlife is preparing to make a last stand. Australia has the worst mammal extinction rate in the world, and there's nearly 2,000 plants and animals on our threatened species list. There's one bird I see missing out of this country that I seen when I was, a, when I was small. He's a woodpecker, and I don't see it anymore. So much of this region is under threat that we really need to take decisive action to protect it. The next 10 years are critical. If we can't save those species over the next five to 10 years, there are going to be a lot more extinctions in Australia. Some people might say, does that matter? But I think if you look at it in terms of the next generation never having the chance to see a purple crown fairy wren, never having the chance to see a Gouldian finch, never having the chance to see one of the other really unique animals that make Australia what it is. And I think that is, you know, very, very sad. Pungalina and Seven Emu are still largely intact, but wildfires, feral animals and overgrazing threaten to devastate the landscape and its wildlife. Just this morning you wake up and you look across the horizon and there's smoke everywhere. And that's just two properties south of here. There's a fire that's probably going to burn a million hectares. That's a disaster for the wildlife of the region, but that's what's happening. So we've got to get people on the ground up here. We've got to have the resources to be able to stop that happening to Pungalina and Seven Emu. You know, everyone should treat it, not only this land, but any land, as a garden, really. It's like a tree. If you don't water a tree, or you tomato, it'll die. The Australian Wildlife Conservancy and Frank Shadforth have formed a unique partnership aiming to provide a secure future for the land and its wildlife. I always think of what Dad done for me, so that sort of made me think what I'd have to do for my grandchildren. They asked when I was a kid what I've seen. I tell them I've seen a black-tailed possum and it lives up in the hill, but you don't see them anymore. And they keep asking where they're gone and will they come back. I tell them in a sort of way that I don't think it'll ever come back. It makes me feel no good, but you've got to tell the truth to a kid. To save this land, we must act now. With your help, AWC will acquire and preserve Pungalina and work with Frank and his family to protect Seven Emu. But if we cannot save places like this, then more of Australia's unique wildlife will be lost forever. I reckon it's everybody's duty to look after Not only one individual, whether it's Aboriginal, white man, I mean, everyone should. This is our home. This is where we live. 